Greetings, children of the screen. Your friendly neighborhood nerd scum once again coming at you today with just some just some some baffling bullshittery. That's that's what it is. So recently they there were some leaked photos from on the set of the new live action Titan show that's being developed for the are being shot and going to be marketed on the new DC streaming service that's coming up along with um, Young Justice season three as well as a few other things. Now. Uh, They've been releasing casting announcements for a while about this show, and with almost all of the people they've announced, I've been fine with it and been on board. Uh, with Beast Boy, with Raven, even though some of the actors are like relatively unknowns, I'm totally fine with that. And most of them seem like they could fit into the role pretty well as long as the show put the right money and the right attention into the characters. And from the set photos that have been leaked, it's uncertain if that is the case. So, here we go. Yeah, as you've been seeing here, this is Starfire in their show. Now again, it should be mentioned that this is a leaked on-set photo. We have no idea the context that this photo, of the scene that this photo was taken of, or taken from. Like, any number of things could be happening, and I long since, like even in my previous videos, I said that I... I pretty much almost guarantee that with Beast Boy and with Starfire, they're going to give them some kind of tech or some kind of magic or something so that they can look more like normal people so that the show doesn't have, like, so that the show can integrate them into the world without having to explain why no one's throwing a fit or making a big deal out of it. And I guess that's what they're going to do. I don't know. Like, when they announced the casting of Starfire, I was really happy with it. She's got perfect bone structure, like her... Just, like, as long as they were, like, to paint her with body paint, either gold or, like, orange, you know, like, the way that the character has always, without exception, been depicted, that she would have been perfect for Starfire. But as you can see here, I don't know what this is. This is, like, not only is she not orange, what is, like, the outfit and the hair? Like, freaking Raggedy Ann hair? Like, she looks like a freaking Cabbage Patch prostitute or something like a cabbage patch prostitute doll or like if barbie put out like a teen prom queen crackhead act like doll like this is what it would look like i don't know where the mindset of the of the producers and the costuming department in this show is where they take a beautiful woman who like has all of the characteristics that would make starfire great and then you fuck it up this bad. That's completely baffling. And again, maybe this is not the only look for her. I'm hoping to God this is not her all the time look. But you know, even if they have like some kind of tech that allows them to change the way they look, I'm not into it. Like that's BS. Like that's not what I don't want to see that. Why would I watch that? Like that's not a thing, you know? Uh, no. It 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 shows like a complete disregard for the fan base as well as the characters themselves in order to make things either cheaper or easier. One or the other. Those are the only two reasons to do it. The only two reasons to do it. Okay, so now let's move on to this next photo. This one is a bit different uh, because with this one, what I want to state is like, again, we have no context for these photos. So for this picture of Raven and Beast Boy, this does not look good. However, what I will say is that sometimes on projects like this for actors, they will permanently dye their hair or like do use a permanent hair dye that stays in. And then they, you know, obviously would get makeup and stuff done once they arrive on set. Like we don't know what their shooting schedules like. This could be a photo of them literally just arriving before they hit the makeup trailer. Um, although it kind of looks like they have elements of costuming on that make them kind of look like their comic book counterparts or like trying to invoke that feel like Raven's wearing all black and the kid playing Beast Boy kind of has like the sweater that's very evocative of Beast Boy's costume, kind of like the classic Doom Patrol type look and stuff. So again, like we have no idea what this is like or what this is from, but if this is the way these characters end up appearing in the show, I, along with most people who are fans of the Teen Titans, I don't think are going to go for it. I do not. Uh, but again, I'm trying not to rush to judgment right now. Like, maybe they'll, they may, may they can turn it around, but I fucking doubt it, man. Like, look at this. And obviously, these aren't released by the production. These are like leaked photos that someone stole a snapshot of, you know. So, 
there really is no telling, guys. But I do have to say that this is really disheartening, and it definitely makes me lose a lot of interest and a lot of faith in the show. But, you know, that's just what I think. Have you seen these photos before, or is this your first time seeing them? What do you think? Do you think it's too early to tell, or do you think this is a sign of trouble yet to come? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and share it with some friends. That's more important now than ever. And if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can get updates on all the dope content I'll have coming out in the future. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have a good one. Nerds come out.